Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's just truly Teho Koki. And as you guys can see, man, welcome to Touching Base. I'm touching base with the likes of The Big Hash and Lucas Rap. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. A whole lot of things have been happening in 2021. Obviously, now you guys, apparently, you guys were beefing. Yeah. Let's talk about the beef real quick. <laughs> when did it start and why? Uh, like, why? <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, firstly, I'd like to start off by saying it wasn't like like a beef where we're going at each other. Like, it, wasn't, yeah, it, was, it wasn't like yeah, it was really, like more like a cold war type yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. where we don't know if we like each other, we've yeah. never spoken to each other, oh, but every yeah. time we in a room or whatever, it's like, Clearly, he has, he has something different. Clearly, he has, he has yes. something I mean, different. It's kind of not true, though, because, like, look, we did... Because, look, Nephew. Okay, we yes. did have a little house of Because, look... Oh, okay, no, 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 not outside. Not, no, not no, no, he's stretching. He's stretching. Not like that. Okay, listen, okay. Listen, okay. okay. I'm going to listen to Hash. Hash looks like let he has the real clouds. Let me cook it. We actually met, nah, like, at Clyde's event. Yeah. Nah, uh, he was hosting an event um, with Redbox. Yeah. Nah, that so... Right? Yeah, no, yeah. not in Midrand. Um, it was a Republic of '94. Oh yes, yes. Nah, yes. so we actually met now. Nah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm greeting this guy because he came mid conversation while I'm talking to Clyde. Nah, he came with the cold greeting because it's off energy, right? Because yeah. I came like I was like, hey, what's good, man? And he was on some hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so he I'm was like, still, yeah, he was still like really yeah, at the time also for him. I think, but I mean, Lucas. I remember when I first met Lucas, wasn't really forthcoming. Hash, let's talk about in and wave yeah I, I know yeah. you had like there was a huge thing that you spoke about on yeah. on twitter at some point saying that you couldn't put your music mm-hmm. out uh, tell us about the whole you know just put us through what exactly was it that you were you're were dealing with because i did know at some point you were always speaking about releasing music yeah but every time would it be like you go mia you know and then so what are, what exactly was the situation there so basically um i had this this contract right with yeah. these people um and it was going all oh, wow, you know, this is my, this is, this is me renewing my one-year contract into mm. a three-year contract, mm. right? Mm. Mm. And time, it was just a production deal, the first one-year deal, right? Yeah. So, I cross over into the second one, and this is around the time when we're about to drop Young, and I need to finalize the deal in order for Young to drop, mm. you know? So, fine. I'm being pressured on this end to, to do that, right? I do it. But I am, I'm trusting these people because these are my people yeah. and we have a connection that's beyond the music. Mm-hmm. This is me being as naive yeah. as I am, right? Fine. That happens. And a few months down the line, when the money's coming in, like when everyone is starting to make serious bank by everyone being me, mm. I'm not making that bank. And I don't even know it's being made behind my back. Oh, damn. Right? Mm. And now it's getting to a point where also my music is being released in the worst way because they're releasing wrong versions of my song. They messed up my release with um, with Questa for High School. There's yeah. a song that I dropped in 2020 with Questa. Yeah. It's called High School. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got high school, I never finished high school. I'm credit, but I can't get off my pedestal. Graduated from blunt burning on corridors. Now I'm working on learning father and daughter laws. No diplomas get out the lesson is love of yours. Higher learning, the see version from corner stores. Now we big and we now. Lucas Raps, your project came out, and yeah. I mean, ever since then, you've obviously, you and I have had conversations here and there, interviews as well. How's it been since, man? And also, I mean, you you moving at such a rate now, a song with Dave A. Snoop as well. How's that been for you so far, like, in regards to your growth as an artist, before we start talking about you know, the streets? Yeah, yeah. I mean, everything, all the, the growth, the progress has been amazing. Yeah. It's been dope to be seeing the growth and, you know, yeah. you know, we're pushing P, we're pushing progress. You know what I mean? You me? But yeah, um, yeah, I, I do see a lot of growth right now. Um, me being on a song with Snoop, uh, Dave East, fabulous. Yeah, for me, yeah, I'm, yeah, for me I'm, I'm overwhelmed with yeah. having to understand, like, yo, I'm actually on this song. But for me, it just, like, it makes me more hungry to, like, try, right, let's yeah. go further now. Like, yeah. you know, if we can do this so easily, what can we do? Like, you know, if I'm actually with these people and I just want to work to get to that level, you feel me? Yeah. So I'm not in, like, no rush of anything. True. Good. I'm not... I'm 
I'm also not upset with the way things are moving, you know? Mm. Like, mm. Ash and I are sitting here today. Everything happens at its own pace. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'm blessed to have the understanding I have now for me to sit here and understand situations in a different manner than I did before. And you know what I mean? I yes. feel like I'm maturing as the day goes. That's good. That's so, good to hear. Man. I'm not in a rush, man. I'm just excited to do yeah. a lot of justice to this year, you know? Yeah. You ain't perfect, nigga. Show me where your head is. If you judging me, then we are not slime. As 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 hip hop this year, piano took literally it took over. What do you guys think should be the move in regards to rappers, in regards to hip hop this year, making sure that we actually come back a whole lot more stronger? Is it collabos? You know, and it's not like our music doesn't bang, mm. right? It's not like I mean, you play that. I mean, you can hear that. Yo, this bang. But what do you think will actually help the the hip hop community? You know, get to where it was because obviously. In a lot of ways, you know, we've kind of taken a back seat. Do you think maybe we should work a whole lot more together as artists? Should we come together, make more bangers? What do you think should be the case? Or do you think this is just the way of life? Uh, this is how no. things go. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually happy you asked that question. This year, I I just want people to be more honest, man. True. Like about what? About what? About the sound that's yeah. coming out. About you know, you can you can get a few artists that I won't say they're not the best artists, right? Mm. But then you you get compared to artists that take the craft very seriously mm. and people that don't take the craft as serious. I mean, I, that, the issue that I ended up having with the, the, the MCs list, it's yeah. like, yeah. there's not, like if you, the MCs are MCs. True. The Dome rap right now, that's an MC. True, true, you true, feel true. me? People that, you, you mustn't take away rap. Yeah. You oh yes. The, the true ethos don't, of what the yeah, MC that's, that's, is that's, that's, cool. that's yeah. the only and thing that I, just, I stand for. That's why I'm still here. That's why, like, I don't care about all these jewelry yeah. things. All these things come to me. I don't go to it. You I, feel me? But I, I make sure, like, the rapping, the bars, all these things, I just want people to be honest. Like, yeah. yo, if your music is not good, it's not good. Yeah. If your music is good, let's push it because it's worthy enough to make Travis feel like he's not dropping. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. We yeah. have the music to out play Migos and Drake and all these people. We have talented artists. Mm. You have mm -hmm. Big Hash. This guy can sing amazing. Mm. Like, bro, you have the talent. It's just about not being naive, one, and just being very honest to the person and your listeners also. You, do, you just have to be honest. Be yourself as the artist. Don't lie on songs. Don't rush things. Don't be in a rush, you know? Like a lot of hip-hop artists turn piano. Yeah. And it's not like they're not being honest. It's just like, uh, I also feel like a lot of artists are still finding themselves. You know, you can start your path on hip-hop. Yeah. You end your lane mm. in Afro. Also, yeah. like, something I feel like artists should start understand, like, it's a growth thing. Yeah. You know, when you look at, like, Earlier on when I said, I mean, you guys have done more than the likes of Ricky and AK. When Ricky was like your guy's age, he wasn't doing what you guys were doing. Yeah. You get know what I'm trying to say? With all due respect. Though. With all due respect, yeah. definitely. You know, I mean, the way you guys are moving, you guys are doing exceptionally well. Obviously now, this year is the go time year, you know, for you guys, both of your guys to step up because like I said, there's a whole lot of talk and we got to put those chats to rest. Yeah, most You know, sure. but in third question, yes, you're right. Right. People should definitely wait for their time. Hash, what do you what do you have to say about this year in regards to hip hop? I'll I'll be very very honest with you. Um, I think one thing that um, that made hip hop and also destroyed hip hop were the people in hip hop. Mm. Like, tell me more. When hip hop was at its peak, do you know the one thing that every artist was doing back there? They were posting about each other, they were hanging with each other, they were in studio sessions with each other, they were working together, you know, they were talking. Yeah. They were... What's um, that Ricky video where everyone's in that video? Oh, what is it? Um, um, Amantom Bazan. Amantom Bazan, yeah. Who you know then took a break and came alive like I did? You know? I tell these honeys don't tweet, just creep, creep. Spit up and run like old week. Boys in box, fill my chips the whole week. Got Bizzo X to show them there's no beef. Philippine, foreign mom, Philippine. Still it legal, no...